Hey all you awesomely blossomly people out there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nirupama and I hope you all are doing great. Sometimes what happens that uh, you go for an interview, you answer all the questions correctly, still you don't get selected, they reject you and you wonder why. Maybe your body language is not right. Maybe there is something wrong with your body language. What is a body language? So body language is a non-verbal way of communication it tells a lot about you to the interviewer so it is very important like is it important to have good communication skills same ways it is important to have good body language as well so in today's video we'll be talking about that and i will be telling you some do's and don'ts which you need to watch out for so yeah let's get started point number one is eye contact now you tell me like eye contact Eye contact, you always say in Arupama, that it is very important to maintain the eye contact. Like, yes, I say that and it is very important. We all know that. But, you know, at times people, they don't understand how to go about it and they goof up. So now, you know, if you look at someone, if I look at you, it's continuous like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, directly into your eyes. So it can be a little intimidating. It can be very uncomfortable for the other person for the other gender so you know you need to be very mindful about that so now what you need to do is you look at the face and you can just rotate your eyes like first you look at the eyes and then you can look at the nose and the cheek so basically you're looking at the person not rightly into the eyes but you're looking at the person you are maintaining an eye contact because you're looking at that person and which means that you're listening to that person you're acknowledging what the person is saying so like that and when you are talking then then also you are supposed to maintain the eye contact so make sure you're not directly drilling into the eyes but you are looking at the person's face so that's what you need to keep in mind when it comes to eye contact now the next point is acknowledge now whenever you're talking to someone or someone is talking to you the acknowledgement is very important for example i'm talking to you and you know you're just looking at the sky or at the ground and just looking everywhere else but not at me so i will not like it i will be very offended i will be like you are not interested in talking to me or i'm like am i not making sense or am i wasting your time so it is very important to acknowledge and how will you do that you look at the person again you have to look at the person you can you can you know like i'm talking to you so you can not continuously nod your head but you can be like you know with the body language that you know you are focused and you are understanding what the person is saying you are concentrating on what the person is telling you so it is very important to do that so make sure you acknowledge make sure you are not looking everywhere at your watch and you know at times i've seen people they it's not they they don't mean harm but then they don't realize it and they do it unknowingly which can of course backfire at you like looking at the watch like you're just looking at the time which is there's no harm in it but then you know if you look at the watch so maybe the other person will take it in a way like okay so you think uh you have some other important work more important than the interview so you know why don't you go and continue with that you know what i'm trying to say so you didn't say it but with your body language with the way you are conducting yourself it projects that you know you are not interested so it is very important to acknowledge it is very important to look interested in the conversation body language it is all about facial expression eye contact gesture body language how do you use the space you know if i'm looking at something else and if i'm looking at the watch so you know it is it is it is not night i shouldn't i should need to look focus i should need to look alert so that is what you need to keep in mind your what to do with the hands like i'm sitting so i cannot talk like this you know what i was doing like this like that i can't do like this so i need to do something with these two hands right so when you sit do, if you're sitting like this if i'm sitting like this and i'm listening to you yeah so it doesn't look like that you know i'm open uh, to a conversation or i'm open to a suggestion or whatever it doesn't look positive it is it, it is a very negative body language you know you know like it is it, sh it means that don't talk to me i'm not interested that's what that's what it means so you know make sure you don't keep your hands like this or like this or like this or like this 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 don't do that keep your hands like you can this is my right hand so i keep it on top of this and i can keep it on my knee and if you are a guy so you can just your two hands you can just keep it on uh, your knees and you can 
guys can also sit like this so now when we sit so uh generally you'll see everybody sitting like this now i can't show it to you um okay let me just go back if you can see me okay like can you see me hi so let me just try to so whenever we sit we sit like this all right <laughs> this is the best way i can show it to you so uh, make sure you are not sitting like this when you go for an interview so now pehli baat to ye ki bhai medically bhi suggest karte hain doctors not to sit like this because aapke ek knee pe zor padta hai so if you are sitting like this so ek knee pe zyada zor padta hai because aapka pura weight ek knee pe pad jata hai also when during the interview you know if i'm sitting like this for a very long time so mera pair dukhne lag jayega or i will be uncomfortable so i want to change my position i want to i want to switch my position so mai agar is tarike se change karungi so it will be very obvious for the interviewer and i don't and it is sort of a distraction so i don't want that so what i can do i can cross my ankles instead instead of crossing my legs i can cross my leg, ankles i can sit like this cross ankle and i will click a picture and i'll insert it here all right for you guys to make it easy for you to understand what i'm trying to say so you know i can sit cross ankle so like this if i feel uncomfortable in this position i can aram se i can change my legs without making it obvious when you are sitting example for example if i'm sitting like this and i'm talking to you are what how does it look like does it look presentable does it look nice does it look pleasant does it look professional no if i slouch and if i'm sitting like this uh, upper interviewer they care nahi lagega ki crew koi bhi job ke liye to mere liya jayega because you your body language says that you so casual about things you know it 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 is very casual so it is not appropriate at all so how what you need to do you need to sit straight and you need to sit straight your shoulder straight your shoulder straight your back straight so like this you are supposed to sit now you will be like agar main aise baithe rahungi to mere to pee dukhne lag jayegi so now what you can do i can just go back a little and i can take the support of the chair and i can just lean back and sit comfortably and that's how i look confident looking at myself how do i look one so now jokes apart i'm confident i'm comfortable so whenever you are walking walk straight your walk should be confident you are and not like a supermodel walk all right because supermodels they walk like this not a supermodel walk but a confident walk and you know if you're not a very casual walk because at time people they just you know they are in a rush and like they are moving like this moving for example if you make up making a pony and you're moving like this your head like this and you're just like tak 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 you're going like this so you know it's not going to help it is very it is very um it's it's not professional and it is very you know you're trying to grab the attention that is like too much of attention you're getting too much of attention which is not required stand tall straight and walk straight your back your shoulder should be straight and you're walking walk with the confidence walk and don't make noise that tak 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 see if you're wearing heels i know you cannot avoid it but then still just be little mindful about it and at times guys the shoes they wear wo bhi kafi awaaz karte hain so you know just be very mindful about that and yeah just watch out for your walk because when you enter that is the walk. when you open the door and when you enter the room that is the first impression what they have about you is your walk so you have to be very conscious you have to be very careful about that and no and it's not just about a uh, the interview room but outside as well in the vicinity jahan pe bhi aapka venue hai aap kahin pe bhi chal rahe hain just be very mindful about your body language the way you talk the way you conduct yourself because you never know ki unme se koi ho and ho sakta hai ki you know they are watching you or they are keeping an, or they are watching you or they are keeping an eye on you so just be very careful about it, it just be very mindful about it डोंट टेक इट सो कैजुअली कि अभी अच्छा मैं इंटरव्यू रूम से बाहर आ गई हूँ अब मैं कुछ भी कर सकती हूँ मैं नाच सकती हूँ मैं गा सकती हूँ डो इट इज वॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ पॉजिटिव बॉडी लैंग्वेज टू एंड टू मेनटेन इट एट ऑल गिवन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम नाउ टॉकिंग अगेन टॉकिंग अबाउट हैंड्स लाइक नाई राइट नाउ आई एम टॉकिंग टू यू सो आई यूज अ लॉर ऑफ हैंड जेस्टर वाइल टॉकिंग सो नाउ आई सेट दैट ओके वेन यू आर टॉकिंग सो कीप यूर हैंड्स लाइक दिस डोंट मूव यूर हैंड्स अ लॉट सो then and now i'm saying that use your hands gesture 
So you like you're contradicting to your own statement. So see, understand when somebody's talking to you, you can't be like this, right? But when you are talking, when you use the hands gesture, see it shows your confidence. You it shows that you know what you're talking. It shows that you know that you are making sense. So that is very important that when you are talking, you can use the hands gesture. If you keep your hands hidden, like you know, if you are, if you if you keep your hands like this, you're holding the chair and you're talking. No, I was just thinking that you know I have done my schooling from here and I'm very uh, like if I'm talking like this, what does is project? If I if I keep my hands hidden, so it shows that you know uh, I'm not comfortable, I'm not confident. Uh, you know it projects. It can be misinterpreted as distrustful you know behavior so it is very important for you to understand that when someone is talking to you so you should you are not sitting like this or you are not sitting like this or like that you're keeping your hands like this and when you are talking that time you can use your hands gesture to express it better to make it look more impactful to show your confidence you can use your hands gestures that time and also the last thing which is very important is to smile now smile it is very important of course you are in this job it is the most important thing to have that beautiful smile on your face and i always say this but don't smile when somebody is talking something serious like you know what do you think about the tsunami or what do you think about the global warming what are your views so you can't be like i think you know it is a we are you know it's, and somebody's talking about anything something which is very serious something very intense so you can't smile at that time you know otherwise the person will think you are stupid you don't know what we are talking about you are smiling or somebody is scolding you or somebody is correcting you that time please make sure you are not smiling i have seen people smiling in such situation and it can piss off the other person and that person is taking you into you so make sure you are not smiling if somebody is talking some serious business so don't make your face like you know okay fine whatever i don't care what you say but like you know you are okay mm -hmm. i keep that thing in mind okay I'm understanding what you are trying to say. You should, you should not. You are not required to smile at that time. So understand, smile is important, but not, but not all the time. I know this is something you will be like. You know what? This is common sense. I know it is common sense, but. Uh, जब इंटरव्यू होता है उस टाइम पे हम इतने नर्वस होते हैं एंड इतनी हमें इतनी डेस्परेटली वो जॉब चाहिए होता है बिकॉज वो हमारा ड्रीम जॉब होता है या जो भी रीजन है कि हम डिफ्रेंशिएट नहीं कर पाते हैं कि हमें क्या चीजें करनी चाहिए क्या नहीं करनी चाहिए सो प्लीज स्माइल एंड मेक श्योर यू हैव दैट ब्यूटिफुल स्माइल ऑन योर फेस वेन यू आर टॉकिंग टू सम वन वेन यू आर ग्रीटिंग सम वन बट इफ समबडी इज टॉकिंग टू यू something which is very serious so make sure you're not smiling at that time i hope you like this video i hope you find it helpful if you do make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you will be notified whenever i'll be uploading my next video and if you have more suggestions please mention it in the comment section below let me know what you think about this video and yeah that's all for today i hope to see you until next time take care